I'm backing up my truck, I'm gonna hook it up, loading up my boat with all my gear. I've been working hard all week, trying to make ends meet, spending time wishing I was fishing. Well, Terry Wickstrom wants to take you fishing. Gather up your gear and come along. Well, Terry Wickstrom wants to take you fishing. This is Terry Wickstrom. Join Karen Collum, Greg Collagio, and me as we take you to some of our favorite fishing spots from Colorado to Minnesota, the Arctic Circle to Central America and beyond. As we revisit episodes of Mountain States Fishing and Angling Adventures Television on the best of fishing with Terry Wickstrom. Hey, on today's angling adventure, we're gonna join our co-host from Minnesota, Greg Clajo, as he takes us on legendary Muskie Lake, Leech Lake in north central Minnesota. Now, Leech Lake is a 112,000 surface area lake, and it's noted for its muskies. It also has walleye, pike, and perch. It's a very irregular lake with lots of large and small bays and a lot of different fishing opportunities. Greg's gonna join guide Jim Flesh as they fish Leech Lake, but not for muskies. They're gonna show you some of the best bass fishing in the United States. I know you don't think of Northern Minnesota as, a, as bass country, but you can catch more five pound bass in Northern Minnesota than anywhere else in the country. Let's join Greg Clajo and Jim Fletch on Leech Lake, Minnesota, fishing for bass. Hi folks, today we're with Jim Flesh from Jim Flesh's Guide Service. And uh, Jim, you're based out of Walker, Minnesota? Correct. And, uh, just because Leech Lake is one of Minnesota's greatest fishing lakes and largest lakes, so you don't necessarily fish Leech Lake all the time. No, and Walker is a destination, you know, anyway. So, as you know, there's thousands of lakes around our area, so I go as far as uh, the Red River, wow, and over there. Red Lake, Winnie, uh, maybe over to your stomping grounds in the Grand Rapids area, and down through Hackensack, Longville. So it's a pretty big area depending on what we want to catch wherever the hot bite is happening, Correct, yeah. what, what they're looking for. Mm -hmm. What could a person expect? I mean, you eight hours or uh, full days, half days? Full or? days, generally we like to go because you may not find the fish in mm -hmm. one of those halves of the days. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> and sometimes you have to drive away, either by boat or by car. So I like to give it a, as the best shot that we can. Mm -hmm. And Leech Lake, we're, we'll be fishing Leech Lake today and it boasts one of the best largemouth populations in the state. And uh, I'm anxious to get out there. What are we going to do? How are we going to approach these fish? Uh, we're going to start in the morning with in the bull rushes because the okay. fish will cruise in the mornings. And you, what, what type of bait then? We're going to throw a jig and pig okay. um, or a jig and a power craw, a jungle jig, something like that, weedless, um, with heavy line, 65 pound test or heavier okay. to rip them out of there. And uh, we'll also be throwing um, plastics, various plastics, grubs. Um, creatures, things like that. that. Sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. Does that bite last all day then? Or? Uh, if we have overcast rain, yes, I would say. <laughs> Better. Um, otherwise, you have to go into the heavy cover midday, okay. which is wild rice, which is slop fishing. So we'll basically you start out in the rushes and end up in the slop. That's right. Mm -hmm. That sounds so like fun. Expect a couple pretty big fish because Leech Lake has got a good population of real quality cows. They're big. I'm excited. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's go give it a try. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is clear. Yeah. We'll see them swimming around a lot of times here. Let's see what we can come up with here. You're gonna let it sit in that hole and let it sit on the bottom for a bit. So you've been chasing these bass around for how many years? <laughs> 29 maybe, 30? <laughs> Holy cow. 
You should have it figured out by now, huh? Someday. <laughs> someday. They best, say some days the fish win. Best laid plans, you know. We fished them back when no one knew there was fish on this lake. Bass, you know, no one ever fished for them. I can't imagine. tunas in here. Your biggest fish come out of here? Yep. How big? Seven six. Seven six. And you got another one that was over seven? Seven two. Same oh, huge fish. Within three casts right in here. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> but they travel in packs a lot up here in this bay. It's kind of unusual to swim by in like tens. Big fish, and then a school of smaller fish. This is kind of different. Come on, boys, where are you here? It's exciting, though. You just wait for that first little bite, that tick, and you set the hook. You never know. Yeah, you could set it on a great big one at any time. Now, fishing Leech Lake, I mean, there's a lot of different areas you can catch bass. Oh shoot! Like I think one. he came off. Dog on it. Missed him. Yeah, there was one. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can fish just about anywhere on this lake. Bass don't live everywhere, but there's always something to catch. Not too far away from wherever you're staying. Come on, old bucket mouth. Man, they're in here. Come on, boys. Here we go. Back in the canary grass. That's a good one. It's a sow. It's a nice one. That's yeah, a sow. It's a leech laker. Oh yeah. That's over five. Well, Jimmy, good job. That's a big bass. It's a tank. That's a How's five. How's that pounder. for a leech lake bass? Beauty. That's what I saw swimming around in there. Let's get some more. <laughs> that's a pig. Yeah, nice fish. Beautiful. And, and they're really, fairly common, really, if you can find them. Uh, you get a lot of fish in the three pound range, which is a good average, you know, and then you get those horses like that, and they're so strong. And they're just no fun to catch, <laughs> you know. Just way too much work. They're way too much work. They're too heavy. Yeah. I hope I go home and my arms are just sore. Yeah. And they're well built. They're real pretty bass. They're real golden. Nice looking fish. Gone. Nice, nice fish. Yeah, nice fish. Dang nice. What's your best presentation as far as retrieve on this technique? I, f I fish just basically where you cast it and you let it sink to the bottom. I lift it up real slow and maybe shake it just a little bit. You're almost fishing right where you put it every time. And crank in and cast over. And cast again. Yeah, it's if they're like there, they turn and hit it. Got one back there? Yep. Good job. Hung up in the weeds, but we'll see. See if it stays on. Yeah, they like to get wrapped up in there. Pretty <laughs> pretty hard not pretty to. Pretty quickly too. Yeah. You don't know if it's a pound and a half or six pounds, you know. Once they wrap around the bulrushes. Oh, there's there's another. There's two more looking at it, right where you're stuck. <laughs> They're wondering. Right where you're stuck, there was two of them. They're wondering, what, what happened to Freddy? Maybe I can get one of them. Mine's just a small one. Yeah, they're swimming. there was two of them sitting there looking at it. And I can't get them to hit, the dirty rats. <laughs> Yeah, I can see him scooting off. There he goes, little one. Come on. Got off. That's probably the one I saw going. Was that little one? Mm-hmm. That I had on. Part of the game. They were way in the back. Yeah. Hiding out. Fish there on. we go. Oh, it's a good one too, yeah, I think. Come on, like there, girl. Oh, it's a tugger. Oh, it's a nice one, I think. 
may have to go up and get this one. It's a nice fish, Greg, I think. It looked like it. Huh. Yep, it oh, is. Yeah. Oh, that's a real nice fish. There's two more behind them. Three more. Four more. <laughs> Look at them all down there. Come out of there, girl. Look, Look at that, that big one. That See that one over there? That was a nice there? one. Wow. You're onto a school of fish. You know this lake, Jim. I'll tell you that much. This old gal's got me hung up. Oh, here she comes. Nice fish. Oh, yeah. That's a good bass. Good fish. That's Real nice That's another gym. one close to five pounds, too. That's a big old gal. I'm going to pull us out of here a little well, bit. Well, we can just yeah, drift, too. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I'll take her in a tournament anytime. Wow. Tournament? Give me, wow, eight of those. You're counting your money already. There's one just this size sitting right there. Oh, that's a nice bass. Big old devil. Look at him. See, there's one there. There's one there, there's one over there, there's two over there. <laughs> wow, look at that. Come to Leech Lake, huh, Greg? I guess, incredible bass fishing. Come on, sow. Kidding. No kidding. Yeah, well, if you released a 7.6, what, what's the state record here? I don't know what eight is a state something? record, eight something, maybe? There's definitely some state record fish in this lake. I think there could be. There, I think there very well could be. One of these areas that doesn't get fished a lot is too dense. Mm -hmm. It's one thing about this lake, the bass stay shallow because the musky population mm -hmm. keeps them. So they're big. Huh? Yep, and it keeps them in. So we don't have drop off or break line fishing like a lot of lakes. Yeah. It's all shallow stuff the musky population here i would say if you want to go somewhere and catch a 50 inch musky this is a lake to fish i know it's famous for big fish it just it's just your odds i think are the best here apart from maybe lake of the woods or something like that what's your biggest out of this lake 56 inches holy cow and 52 pounds man i didn't catch it i was just guiding just the humble guy. Guide client caught a, a 52 pound fish. Yep. Practically the state record. First muskie he's ever caught. Oh gee, there's <laughs> no justice. His first muskie? Yep. You've ruined him for life. Yep. He's he's <laughs> he's hooked. I've seen the pictures, I'll tell you what. If we can get a picture of that, we'll put it up. And folks, they just won't believe the size of it. Incredible. You made the call. Not a monster, but nevertheless a nice fish. Nice, fat, healthy fish. And that hook is buried pretty good. Leech Lake Largemouth. There's plenty of them and they're big. Away he goes. <laughs> it's a nice fish. Oh, not a monster, but we'll take them. Little Another rascal. healthy Leech Lake special. Mm -hmm. It's time now for Greg's Tackle Tip of the Week. Kind of jiggy you that one. A jungle lock with that coil screw on there, and you screw your grub on there, and it keeps it weedless. That way it flows through the weeds real well. Okay. I've been doing fairly good with this jungle jig. Got the rattle beads, chamber there. Pork rind. The old pork rind has been around for a hundred years. Only they're colored now. Right. Black and blue has always been a good color for me. Leech Lake, that's what I love on this lake. Of course, as you can see, this isn't black and blue, but I'm trying to give him a chance. He, fish, he can't hide it. I have to peek at it and see what he's doing here. <laughs> <laughs> Typical guide. Yeah. <laughs> that was Greg's tackle tip for this week, and now back to more angling adventures.
I don't know if it's big, but it sure sounds nice. Yeah, let's get him out of those weeds. Still on? Yeah, he's on there. Not huge, but he's decent. A nice fish. Look at this is what we have to pull him through. <laughs> Beautiful. You find color. these find these bass all over Leech Lake. Just have to use a little different presentation. We can get this out of here. Weedless spoon in this case. That's a good color too. That black and brown. See if you can wrestle that hook out of there. You hold him, I'll get it out. Oh, here we go. Good fish. Good chunker. Yeah. That's where that strong line comes into play. Get them on and horse them out. Let them go. Yeah, you can't play in here with 10 pound test or you're not coming back with a lure or a fish. And this is my musky rod. This is a 60 pound test. So this works perfect actually. Hey Jim, with your Lots guiding, of... what do you offer then? Uh, what... Do you, do you go from right from spring to fall or? Yeah, from uh, ice out to as long as we can stand it, you know, in the fall. Generally in the fall it's musky fishing or bass. This gets really good out here in October. When Better every... than this. Yeah, when everybody's duck hunting. <laughs> well, this is pretty good. This is real good. But a lot bigger fish come up in the fall and use all those bull rush beds that we fished. And it's a more of a midday afternoon bite in the fall. Mm -hmm. So you'll fish right by people's decoys <laughs> during so duck season. And banker's hours though. Yeah, yeah, banker's hours, right. So it, uh, we just go whenever we can fish, you know, be it uh, spring sunfish crappies after the ice is out, maybe jumbo perch all the way through. And uh, go, we go to other lakes too, of course. You just gotta go where the fish are biting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you run eight hour or full day and half day trips? Or? Uh, pretty much just eight hour trips. Full day trips. Yep. If you only want to fish a half day, well then that's all you fish. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's, it's a, a full big, day price. So. It's, it's a full day <laughs> price, but it's a big lake. It takes yeah. time to get oh, someplace. It, you it know, does. As you we know. had to travel a bit to get here. Right. So it's a lot of fun. There's always something to catch. That's what I like about Leech. Oh, it's incredible. I mean, there is a, it's one great fishery to, to be sure. When does the ice fishing season usually take off? Well, for some guys, <laughs> pretty <laughs> darn early. <laughs> to be safe, if somebody wanted to make a trip to Leech Lake and try it. I would say after Thanksgiving. Usually into, uh, after middle Thanksgiving. Of, middle of December. Is, guys will be out on snowmobiles. Although some years, we didn't, you know, we still didn't have ice. I know it does fluctuate. I yeah. mean, the last few years it's been later. Uh, down by Walker is probably the more popular ice fishing just because it's close to town. And, and then also it's deeper so that takes longer to freeze. Yeah, and the walleyes seem to bite there better in the winter in that deeper water. The so walleyes are a low light bite and uh, yep. jumbo perch. Jumbo perch are daytime. The eel pout festival, we can't forget that, huh? Yeah, that's When, when is that? It's February? usually the third weekend of February. Oh, that's something. I was, I've only been to one of them and it's just incredible. A How lot many of people, people are out on the ice at that time? 10,000 or so. <laughs> and some of them actually drill holes, you know? <laughs> yeah. We actually fish pretty heavy for eel pout after that in the beginning of March. It gets very good. They spawn at that time? Yep. And it gets tremendous. Oh, they get some big eel pout out here. I know yeah, that. Yeah, yep. They're tasty. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of meat on them. There's a lot of belly fat and stuff, but right. some people call them the poor man's lobster, white meat. Yeah, they're very good. I like them. They're not going to win a beauty contest. They got two things going for them, Greg. They taste good and there's no limit. Now that's... <laughs> That's a combination yeah. that I... Perfect for that's me. That's all right. It swirled up and ate it. That's a better one. That's oh, a yeah. a good solid black bass. That's dark, isn't it? It's a good one. Yeah. A dark one. Beautiful fish. A lot of them like this here on Leech. It's an incredible largemouth bass fishery.
Lots of room. Oh, a lot of fun today. Yeah, beautiful. Well, Jim, I want to thank you for a great day. Yeah, you're welcome. Fantastic. You did a good job. Lots of fish. Yep, yeah, that was fun. Hey, folks, if you want to enjoy a day on the lake, on uh, Leech Lake with Jim Flesh, just give him a call. His number's right here, and we're, we'll have more information at the end of the show. Just check the credits. Make sure to check out Leech Lake, Minnesota, and the surrounding waters. Jim Flesh will do the job for you. It'll Thanks be again. Fun. It was great. Come, come back again. Yeah. Tune in next week for another episode of Angling Adventures.